in our last session we have learned how to add groups total in our report so we are starting from our last report so in this session we will learn we will learn how to add a page break functionality in our report so uh, in this report you can see here we have the data in our report uh, there is a grouping from functionality in our report you can see here region salesperson order number order date items so in this scenario what is happening there uh, our data is uh, accumulate on the region level and a region may have multiple salesperson a sales salesperson may have multiple orders and a order is a combination of unique items so what we are going to do here for the page break uh, actually what is the purpose of the page break in our report the main thing is that uh, a page break is nothing uh, it is something like that uh, we need uh, to improve the quality of our report uh, okay suppose that uh, if i want to so the data for a particular region in a single page in this case i need to be add there as a page break in my report so you can see here we have groups and uh, subgroups also so in the group uh, in the group in the group properties we can do there is a page break functionality and check as a page break options between each instance of a group that means if i am going to whenever a new group is going to be add on the data it would be break into another page like this this now you can see here every group is coming on the new page now in the page break section you we have seen that uh, there is a checkbox also at the start of a group that means if i am checked it it would be start like this means whenever a new group is introduced on the data or on the report it would be break like this so that uh, this uh, will be feasible in case of if you want to show some summary of the report in summary data on the report in this case we are going to use this functionality like this uh, if uh, i need to show some other personal information unique information which is not repetitive for each and every page so we can do that okay now there is another option also at the end of the end of a group okay uh, this is something like that uh, if something going to be add in the footer that means uh, this information would be shown on the last page of the report so in page break we have two functionality uh, from the start and and the end of the group like this so we have added page break functionality in our report but uh, one thing is remaining here now in every new page we are saying that we are watching that uh, there is no header so in every new page 
so this thing is remaining because we need to repeat header on every new page for this there are some functionality in SSRS so we are going to design mode and uh, a report is a combination of row groups and column groups so first of all what we need to do here we need to fix the header for every new page so in uh, in this way what we can do uh, they, in a group section there is a advanced mode just click advanced mode okay now you can see here there is a group static functionality like this first is our region so region is our first group and we need to set header in every new page so in this you can see here there are some properties like this fixed data hidden keep uh, hide if no rows keep together so keep together properties we are going to set as a true and repeat on new pages this property is going to be true by default the, these properties are false so we need to forcefully make them as a true so we have we, right now we, uh, we have set the properties of the row groups statics now you can see here now this is the thing when we are going to move to another new page header would be fixed for every new page it is very easy so there are two things we learn in this uh, session number one how to add page breaks in our report and number two how to add or how to make a report he header visible in every new page okay so what we are going to do here in the row group properties if I am going to remove the page break from my report now you can see here there is nothing but if I am going to add my group properties as a page break between okay now you can see that so in this video in this video we have learned that uh, how to add page break and fix your header in every new page on the report hopefully you you this video will be helpful to us and to the developer how to add page breaks and fix your report header on every new page thank you thank you for watching us please uh, subscribe my channel if you like it on youtube thank you very much